Hello and welcome back to Mind Magic World of Z. So, I looked at my clue book and it said that I did not miss anything in the clouds. However, I did miss what the uh, drums did. So, let's uh, find that out. But first, um, everyone has low SP and it is 4 a.m., so let's rest first. Alright. Where to? Let's go back to River City, I think. Actually, maybe Newcastle is a bit closer. I don't know. Uh, of course, cast the sorcery. And go back there. Ah, yes, this. Rain barrels. They now contain gems. Because apparently that's what uh, hitting the drums do. Makes it rain gems. And you get some gems from the barrels. That's really not a whole lot of gems, but hey. <laughs> and yes, I deposited all my gold and now we have more than 2 million gold. And also 11,000 gems. Not bad. Alright, so let's... Um, let's actually walk up here. And go into the pyramid. So initially I thought that I would perhaps go straight to the Dark Sox Tower, but I decided let's take a break a bit from towers and do something else. So let's actually go, since we recently got the uh, key, let's go to Sandcaster. And it's night again. That's why I did not cast Day of Protection, because it might wear off before I can even get to Sandcaster. There are no mirror portals in the uh, dark side. Oh no, dark wolves! Where do they even come from? Huh. But yeah, so... You can still use the uh, spell of uh, Town Portal. So it's not all that bad, but the spell does cost a lot, so I don't really like using it. Anyway, we are here. It's 6am and uh, we're out of everything. Well, let's go in and recast things there. Got a pass? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Day of Sorcery and Day of Protection. Sandcaster. The clue book is a bit scary about this, so I hope I won't get terribly murdered. Let's save before that, too. And there is the uh, tent. Let's see who is here. Perhaps you, with your immense intellect, can help me figure this out. I'm working on a contract to supply the local blacksmith shop with more swords. He needs to have 270 swords at the end of 30 days. It currently takes my six apprentices a day and a half to make nine swords. How many more apprentices will I need to hire to finish this contract on time? Hmm... Two? I don't think that's right. Try again sometime. Yeah, um, this is a fairly okay maths question, but don't really have the time to figure that out right now, now do I? Um, let's go check things out. Why, hello there! You did not do any damage to us. Okay, now you did do damage, and a lot of damage to us. Ow. Stop it. <laughs> Nothing in the bed, nothing in the bed. There's a ring in the bed. 
Winner's Ring. Oh, that could be good. I'm not sure how that compares to gamblers and whatnot. I have no idea what that was, but hey. Nothing in the trees. Another set of guild quarters. Guild of what? No, I got a mall. <laughs> Coral mall, no. Okay, and who's here? So you call yourself a merchant, eh? Well, tell me this then. If six apples and three pears cost 15 gold, and you can buy nine pears and three apples for the same 15 gold, what will it cost to buy 100 pears? Once again, I don't really have the time to figure that out. Ha, I knew you were not a real merchant. Hey, I hope that did not, like, remove my skills or whatnot. <laughs> uh... Huh? Did that, really? It did. Yeah, well, screw you. <laughs> Alright, there was nothing here except for this. Okay, this time it's a whistle. Whistle of frostbiting. Okay. Any wakazashi. Fiery wakazashi. Hmm. Alright, well, what else can I find here? Well, let's, uh. Let's, let's go back to the start and look at the trees. Maybe there's something in them. No. And let's see what this is all about. More guild quarters. Aha! Uh -huh. Even though my spot secret doors thing doesn't say anything, I can see something beyond. Oh. Sewers. Eh, eh, not right now. Nothing. Take that. There's an empty chest. But there's also... Huh. Well. Uh, purple is speed. So let's see, who needs speed? 50. 50. Uh, huh. I'm not sure how much speed this is. If it's like only 5, then I can give it to my spellcasters. But otherwise, let's first give it to... Sarek. <coughs> so yes, I don't want to give it to my spellcasters. At least not yet. 6058. So give it to Scotty. I know for a fact that uh, potions and sandcaster are a bit bugged. And if you press escape, uh, it will count as uh, having drunk the potion. So... You want to avoid that. There's also a bit of a uh, fix for that, but it's in a mod form and whatnot. So, yeah. People can actually change some things with modding now. Okay, well, anyway. Speed, more speed, I can... I can give Kirk this, of course. And that's it. Well, that was nice. Nothing in the trees. It's a wizard! Okay, where's my right clue book? There it is. Wizard.
Wizard, 60,000 experience, 250 hit points, 20 AC, 125 speed, one attack for 10 to 250 points of magic damage, has a range attack. Wizards can usually be found in Sandcaster. They are moderately resistant to all forms of attack, but physical. Well, they sure look fancy. And they seem to be holding what looks to be Golem Stopper. And yeah, they do deal a lot of damage, wow. Uh, how about casting Nature's Cure on everyone? Alright. Nothing again. And this is... Uh, Orange's intellect. And everyone really has enough intellect to uh, survive being insane for a while, so let's give it all to Spock. Now he has Colossal Intellect of 178. Awesome. Nothing in the trees. Nothing in the trees. Nothing in the trees. Still nothing in the trees. Okay, how about saving? And then talking to people here. Two years ago, Xenoch the wizard and Morgana the sorceress came to town with visions of conquest dancing through their heads. They plotted to ruin my good name and install themselves as head of their respective guilds. Now I am dethroned, and those rascals have led the guilds to their present wicked state of affairs. Will you help right the wrong that was done to me and the guilds? Astra, the good sorceress. Well, we'll be hearing a lot about sorceresses and... Uh, uh, well, not exactly wizards, actually, but warlocks in the near future. But yes. Good. I fear that it will be impossible to talk them from their lofty positions, so you will have to defeat them in battle. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. With all the experience that those wizards give us, yeah, we are really close to getting another level. In fact, this place might have a better uh, training place. Not that I really need it, because we can still train more in uh, Castle View, but hey. Well, the road goes here, so let's check this place out. Mirage Guild. Oh, so this is the uh, magic shop. Okay. Nothing there. Never try to burn green wood. It just doesn't catch fire as easily. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Okay, well, I don't really want to go to the guild. Because I don't have membership in it. Soldier School. Hmm, this is probably the training place, then. Our dying paladin gave all his magical armor to the enchanted boulders of the land for safekeeping. That's so weird. Someone to give the armor to, enchanted boulders, and once again, she looks like uh, Sane if she was a Super Saiyan or something. Alright, well, okay, these are crossroads. And yeah, Sandcaster <clears throat> is pretty large, as you can see, because the map scrolls. So we'll probably be here for a while. Let's go a bit north. Glass and iron. This is probably the regular shop. 
I sense Alamar is an assumed name, but I can't tell what the real one is. Hmm. Well, well, well. So Alamar is not his real name. I think I can sense a pattern. Also, clear warranty. Vulture repellent doesn't work! <laughs> Great on the dance. Okay. So, vulture repellent, not a good thing. And yes, this game does have vulture rocks. Also, I don't have anything to do in the shop either, so let's not go here just yet. The three most important things in archery are accuracy, accuracy, and accuracy! <laughs> Bullseye the archer. Uh, pretty much. Being able to draw the thing is also pretty important. Never take all of a genie's money. It's greedy. <laughs> Aladdin the lamp cleaner. Okay. Uh, okay, well, this is not a main path, so let's not stray from it. Weights and measures, what? How about saving again? If you had my business smarts, you could always be sure you were getting the best bargains when you bought. I could teach you for 5,000 gold. Hmm. It's a bit cheaper, I think, than on the light side, but no. We already have the merchant skill, provided that we don't get robbed of it. Professional linguist. Got a gauntlets. Pearl gauntlets, eh? Yeah. So this guy gives linguistics, right? I know most of the strange languages of the land. For 25,000 gold, I could teach you what I know of them. That is... an outright robbery. Because we get linguistics for free on the light side. Alright, well... Let's get back to the crossroads and go west. For a town that is on the edge of the desert, it sure has a lot of greenery. Alright, Sand Temple. So this is the temple, okay. There's a passage in the sewer that leads a long way under the desert. Rumples the Wanderer. Okay, well, I don't really want to go under the desert, I don't think. So it's good to know. I have to keep in mind not to try and exit everywhere. No matter how skilled a wizard is, he'll go down before a good sword and a steady hand. Face them down. If you run from them, they'll just shoot you in the back. Yeah, that's about correct. The wizards in this town are sensitive to insults. Watch what you say. Grim Grog the Baker. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. Yes. Okay, so let's continue going to the other place. Hopefully not to run into any... Oh. It's a... it's a tavern, okay. No wizards here, good. Go away. I'm busy drinking. Thorbash the drunk. Hmm, okay. The barbarians are friends of the giants. Insult the one, and you anger the other. Hmm. Antoine the barbarian. Okay, we have not seen giants yet.
predict you will go on long journey. I also predict that you will become very rich and famous. I further predict that you will die young and then be resurrected and then die again over and over and over again. Eh, eh, not really. I tend to avoid dying because resurrection is kind of expensive. I hear there's a huge hoard of treasure buried somewhere in the land, but the map to it was lost years ago. Hmm. You mean... Um... You mean... You mean... What's that? Oh wait, that's actually an item, right? Yeah. E1, X1, Y11. E1, that's at the top of the map. Yeah, I don't have access to this area just yet. But well, we know where the treasure is, so that's something. How dare you speak to me? You can learn to show respect to your betters on your own, or I can teach it to you. Bless Tim the Wizard. I think we're ready for that lesson right now. Sorry, sir. Won't happen again. Do you need your boots slicked? <laughs> uh, don't want to fight him. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the Star Trek thing would be not to fight them, so... No. <laughs> the bud. Okay, we got that already. So I think that was all. Yes, okay. Let's continue exploring the town. Oh, wow, there's a lot of trees here. All of them contain absolutely nothing. Well... There's even more trees up here. Well, let's first go to other places. Navigator School. I can teach you how to read the sun and the stars so you'll never lose your way for a fee of 10,000 gold. No. I got that in River City. What? Alcove. Who will search? Of course it's empty. I'm not sure why that exists. Prestigitation! Cast more spells for less. I can teach you the prestidigitation skill for a mere 1,000 gems. No. Because I got that... from... Uh, the tower that we were just in for free. So, why would I do that? <laughs> no, oops, wrong person, but hey, Siddhi Katana. Right, and nothing. Oh, looks like I explored most of the places here. Let's first look at what this is all about. Freeze. Let's save before they decide to take another skill of ours. I can sell you entry to the Sandcaster Guild for 20,000 gold. That is expensive. Well, but it's probably worth it. I have passage to Lakeside. I'll sell you one for 5,000 gold. Are you interested? Jeffrey the Monitor. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll need it sooner or later anyway. Hmm. 
No, there's absolutely nothing on the trees. Hmm. Yeah, where does this go? Natasha's enchantments. I'm afraid we can't do business. You don't have anything that I can enchant. Oh. Really? It's enchant item or something? Hmm. Huh. Well, I'll have to try that. But okay, let's uh go here and see what this is all about. Guild quarters. Oh. 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 Whoop. Oh, who is that guy? Master Wizard. Hmm. Master Wizard, 120,000 experience, 500 hit points, 25 AC, 150 speed, 2 attacks for 10 to 400 points of fire damage, has a ranged attack. Master Wizards live in and rule Sandcaster. They can take and give a lot of damage and are 100% immune to fire spells. They're also 50% resistant to all other damage but physical. Wow. Well, it's a good thing they attacked our two tanks. Maybe they just hate paladins. Ah, uh -huh, there's a chest. Boots, probably useless. Oh, no, emerald boots. That's very useful. Hundred thousand gold. That is enough to get into the guild. Nice. And an amber helm. Silver cutlass, ebony nagnata monsters. Monster masher. Huh. Poisonous katana, silver cutlass. Well, thanks to Sal. So, how much did you get hit for? Not much. The nature skill will be enough. Eh? Got ring mail. Iron, okay, that's pretty bad. And more golden gems. Hmm. And I think now everyone Almost, except for Kirk. He can't train. But soon enough, he will be. And now, everyone needs more nature skewers. And there's a storm outside. Oh dear. Okay, more guild quarters. Still have no idea how we're shooting through the door. As well as how they are shooting through the door. But hey. Whoa! Key to the Great Eastern Tower. Oh, well, that's nice. Now we'll be able to go there. Okay, and this connects back to the main place of the sandcaster. Yes. Alright. 
well, I guess that will be all for now. And next time we'll continue exploring Sandcaster and perhaps the Sandcaster sewers too. So, see you all then. Later.